And that is Save of the Bronx all the way from November the 7th through the 18th. Make sure you get a chance to come on out and check out the great eateries here in our borough. Well, sticking with local news, the Bronx will launch its first medical marijuana dispensary at a block party this weekend featuring trucks, live music, and information about the new service. The grand opening of the facility will take place on Saturday at 405 Hunts Point Avenue, where prospective patients can learn about its offers and services and will be under the Illinois-based company Pharmacanus. The company will stock vapor pens and tinctures for people undergoing treatment for cancer, as well as HIV, epilepsy, and other conditions. Now, if you want more information on the facility and its operating hours, please visit Pharmacanus.com. A juvenile detention center in our borough will be replaced by an affordable housing complex over the next eight years. The New York Economic Corporation said it will turn the Spofford Juvenile Detention Center into a project they're calling the Peninsula. It will include 740 affordable housing units, a new public plaza, and 21,000 square feet of ground commercial space. The project will cost about $300 million and should create about 177 permanent jobs as well as 1,600 temporary construction jobs. The transformation of the det detention center was open for more than 50 years. It's been set to be completed by 2024. In other news, Bronx elected officials are calling on Apple to open a store right here in the Bronx. In a letter signed by nearly every Bronx elected official to Tim Cook, Apple CEO, local leaders emphasized on the popular smartphones location in four of the five boroughs, and the Bronx would help the company complete its branding. The letter also suggested several potential homes for the Apple Bronx, that's what they're calling it, including the mall at Bay Plaza in Co-op City, as well as the highly trafficked retail spaces at the 3rd Avenue Hub, Fordham Road, and Kingsbridge on Broadway. Bronx Borough President Ruben Duez Jr. said in the letter, quote, We've seen incredible transformative development in the Bronx since 2009. Numerous companies that may have looked us over in the past are now clamoring to do business here. Tens of th thousands of Bronx residents are already Apple customers, so a new Apple store right here in the Bronx will be a perfect fit for this borough. Of course, we'll keep you up to date on that story. Well, bad news for bookworms. The Barnes & Nobles located in Bay Plaza Shopping Center will close this year. The chain bookstore that's been open at that location since 1999 and after failing to receive a lease renewal from the owner of the property, well, community members and local students refused to accept the closing. The bookstore is going to be replaced by a Saks Off Fifth Avenue store. Yes, indeed. And the annual Bronx Week restaurant known as Save the Bronx is right around the corner. Of course, we took a look at some of those good eats around our borough. We encourage you once again, check it out between November the 7th to 18th right here in the borough of the Bronx. We here at BronxNet will continue to bring you some of that much needed information so that you can eat well throughout our borough and enjoy some of the good eats that are out. Listen, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back. And when we come back, we're going to discuss the email scandal that continues to com complicate Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton and how it's affecting the election just six days away. Stay with us. We're coming right back in a few.